Telling stories and documenting moments, it's a part of history and it's a part of culture that people are going to remember. When you think about what's important to you, for many people, it's a great sports moment. The baseball photography for me, it's, I mean, sure there's action, but it's not about action. Baseball for me is so much more. It's the culture and the stories behind baseball that make it interesting to me. Baseball looks different in different places and not just the Dominican Republic versus Japan versus Texas. It's really across the United States. It's played the same, the rules are the same, but it looks different, the people are different, the fans are different, and the stories behind baseball, that's what's interesting. It's really what happens off the field, what happens before the game, what are the players about, what's the community around it, and, and what does baseball mean to people and the culture and families and generations and connecting generations. I mean, the Cubs winning the World Series and how many years and people telling the story of, oh, if only my father was alive to see this, my grandmother has been waiting, I can't, you know, or the people who got to see the Cubs win the World Series. What a special moment that I got to document that and tell those stories. Everybody who knows about that game and there's so many people that was so important to and they remember every play. And that's our job, our job is to document those stories that they remember and put the images to it and it brings them back to this great memory of, of the, their sports team or it's invoking an emotion, you know, whether it's good or it's bad and everybody has their job to do as photographers and that's our job is documenting all these different parts of history and they're all important and they all tell stories so I have my job to do and those are my stories to tell and I want to do the best job I can doing them. I started photographing baseball when I started coaching my son. First it was rookie ball and then I uh, got promoted to Little League. And then when I started coaching my son's rookie ball team and then Little League teams, I submitted photos to a local newspaper of all-star games and they asked me to start shooting local sports for them and it was just terrific. I absolutely loved it and I knew I wanted to make that my career. And so taking that love of the purity of the game and being able to document at a completely different level is really exciting for me and fulfilling. The mentors in my life have been just extremely important to me in my photography career from the very beginning. Mentors like Brad Mangin, who taught me how to have a plan. Come on in, brother. I learned uh, always have a plan from Brad Mangin, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him out right now and give him credit for that one. When she was comfortable to show her work and realized that she knew that she needed to learn more and then when I could see that she wanted to learn, you know, we, and we would talk about the wide, the sky, the clouds, the, clouds. the, the light, the, the clouds. you know, the, yeah, the clouds. the clouds. Yeah. And just that one bit of advice, and it's always like that. There's so many that I can name that I learned from you, but everything about this is going to happen. Look at this, watch this, watch what this player is going to do. That's true. You know, if you're a good photographer, you can make great pictures anywhere. And she did everything at the highest level <laughs> in the big leagues. And, and it's like, you know, now what she was able to do with the, with the kids all over the world at the grassroots level. Just, this is awesome. Starting out as a portrait photographer really gave me a different perspective on how to shoot baseball. I think that one of the hardest jobs as a photographer is taking a portrait. It's very intimate and that connection and learning how to make connection is not easy. It really could be the hardest thing to do. So 
those early days of portraits really helped me in my uh, career starting off in sports photography, especially under uh, the wing of Michael Zagaris. Nobody connects better to people than he does. So I watched him connect with players and take these incredible candids with his wide angle lens before games in front of dugouts. And I just loved that. I loved what he captured. He told stories. Did he capture action? Sure, when the game started, but really the best stuff was the behind the scenes stuff, the fun storytelling. Your approach, aside from shooting action, is connecting with people and getting their, for lack of a better word, soul into the lens. You can get better at something like that, but that's a gift. And I think one of the reasons you do what you do you're a people person, and people recognize that. Doing what we do, this is not about making a living, or certainly not making money. It's about doing something you have a passion for. Her first book, I think I took an hour, and when we were done, I said, this is incredible. Am I proud of Gene Fruit? I'm very proud. One thing that Michael said to me, he said, oh, this, this camera, this is just gives us the entree to people and places we would have never been or never met before. And how true is that? When I met Gene, she was already pretty damn well established and a very good photographer already. And more important, she's a much better baseball photographer than I ever was. And I was a pretty damn good sports photographer. Baseball is the hardest sport to photograph and it's part of what impressed me so much about Jean. Uh, she is, I think, maybe the best baseball photographer I've ever seen. The book she did, Grassroots Baseball, is the best baseball photo book I've ever seen, period. Not even anything close. When Jean asked me if I wouldn't take a look at an early layout of her new book. And Jean's pictures, over and over again, I saw pictures I wish I had taken. So that's for starters in terms of the respect factor. Oh, but I, I, <laughs> I do need your help. This is, uh, All right. uh, yeah. All right, listen, uh, I like that, that's fabulous. Yeah. Oh, I, I, knew, I hadn't seen that It picture. was in San Bernardino, I just shot it last week. Now, now why can't that be bigger? I got I clouds. Like the flag. I like the flag and the clouds, you, know, you imported them, you spoke to the cloud <laughs> god, and there, there they are. <laughs> the clouds are not bad. I like the flag. Okay, got beautiful, absolutely stunning. This is Americana and this is what I, I still think this is, is the main, this is what makes your book different than everybody else's baseball book. I know how valuable my mentors are to me, each one giving me something different and something just as important as the other. But you learn different things to different people and now it's important for me to give back to the communities that I work and live and you have to help that next group of photographers and they need mentors and we have to complete the cycle and give back in those same communities. After advancing my career in sports and being able to shoot the major league game, it certainly have come full circle for me, and here I am, back to grassroots, doing it in a whole other way. You know, my beginnings, um, though personal, I certainly came from a place where, like, I'm very familiar with starting with nothing and having nothing and what that's like and not having the opportunity to be able to do things that you know, other kids were able to do. And when I see these kids and I work with boys and girls clubs, you know, I've been there, you know, and I know what that, I just know that feeling. And so if I can make any difference in giving a kid an opportunity uh, that they wouldn't otherwise have, I'm just so happy to do it. So when we decided to grow grassroots baseball, I knew I wanted to surround my work with purpose. So how do you do that, you know, and, and it seemed like giving back to the community that gave me so much, you know, as I was growing in the community with photography, as I was growing, shooting uh, youth sports, you know, in Healdsburg, California, and coaching teams, and they gave me my start. So to be able to give back to communities, doing what I love, 
and then helping kids have better outcomes in life with baseball. How terrific, you know, and, and the pride that they have meeting a Major League Baseball player, giving them instruction, and all through the States, we connected with Hall of Famers and retired players. Everybody said yes. They're like, sure. You want me to come to a baseball field and hang out for a day with some kids, give new gloves and teach them how to throw a ball? Count me in. They're happy to do it, and everybody has a good time. Like I said, it makes me feel probably better than they do, and it's the same for the Hall of Famer or the player that's joining us, and, and that's what it is. It's doing what you love and, and giving it something with teeth and making it feel good. And It's about this life, it's about the journey that we're taking and the people that we meet. Like, look at our lives because of our camera. People and places we would have never been or never met before because of our camera.